All right, so for this video, um, we're going to be covering ratios. This will be one of the standards you cover as soon as you get to the sixth grade. Um, the big thing is, will you be able to use ratio language such as for each or for every to describe a ratio between two quantities? Now, them words right there probably don't mean much until we explain it. You got to be able to express ratios in various forms, including fraction notation, using a colon, using the word to or as. A verbal expression. So, like I say I understand the wording right now may be a little difficult. So we'll get into that. So we're going ratios. Okay. So I'm going to draw a couple things up here real quick. So the first thing I got Okay. So I have circles and squares drawn up. So in a ratio I might say what is the ratio of circles to squares? Well, the first thing Okay, now we got circles to squares. Okay, so the first thing is how many circles do we have? Well, we have three circles. That means we have three, two, how many squares do we have? Two. Now, in the standard, it talked about express it in various forms. This was the one that they used the word two. Now, you can also use a colon. And your double dots okay and they also can do it in a fraction form where it's now don't get this mixed up with fractions right away this is ratios so three to two um, think about a bird a bird has how many wings to the beaks of the bird so that would be a two to one okay so that would be our circles to squares now, what if, what if we went squares to circles? So that just, all that does is change which one goes first. For a second, I thought I spelled it wrong. So, you have squares to circles. So which, which word is first? Well, we got our squares. Now, how many squares did we have? We have two squares. Still have our three, so it's two to three, or you could write it, okay? So that's an example of how we're finding ratios on this. Let's do another example. Now, I just wanted to put a lot of stuff up there so we could change the ratio. Okay, so we have the letters A and the letter B. So, what's the ratio of the letter A to B? Well, the A goes first. So, we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five A's. So, that's going to be five, two, and how many B's do we got? Three. Also, could be written as three okay so that's an example of a ratio with using letters all right now what if it went B to A okay so how many B's do we have well we still have our three so that's going to be three two and we still have our five A's So that's, that's understanding how we're doing our ratios here. Okay, so now they might have an example that you end up doing. This is just the, the basic version. So say you're making food. This is a real life situation. Say you're making food, and this is kind of in the standard. So for example, given a recipe that calls for 10 cups of flour for every two cups of sugar. Okay, so 10 cups of flour I'm about to put a follower of flour to two cups of sugar. Okay, so what that's saying is for every 10 cups of flour, we have two cups of sugar. 
So you need to understand that the ratio of cups to of flour to cups of sugar would be written as what? Well, cups of flour, two cups of sugar. So that would be 10 to two. There, another way of writing that, or this right here. So that's how you would write that as a real world situation, because that might be one batch of special pancakes or a cake. But say you wanted to increase that, say you wanted to make two batches of it. Now, if you had 20 cups, if you multiplied the 10 times two, you'd have to do the same to that, similar to the way we did fractions. So, and that's also the same as five cups to one cup. Okay. Now, you're going to have to do this with fractions also. And we'll give you an example of that. And I take this off the standards, which I'll have you a picture of also on the remind. So, two flags are placed every three and a half feet on the trail to mark the path. Okay, make sure I read that right. Two flags. Every three and a half feet. So that's, instead of writing as a fraction, we wrote as a decimal, five tenths is a half. So two flags every three and a half feet. So to write that, Okay, still. Now this is the, where I didn't want y'all to get too confused because that's three and a half right there, but it's still splitting up by the diagonal. Okay, so that's, that's our basics into the ratios, okay? So remember, two flags, that's our first number, or if it was feet to flags, then it would just, Go back and forth. You can reverse that. It's just make sure you have it in the correct order and you understand the questions. Now, for I excel, if you do some of those, you know, they may ask stars to stars to square, stars to triangles. Just make sure you're reading exactly what they want. So that is our introduction to ratios. If you have questions, just ask. You know, it's, this is all for you all anyways. Hopefully it's easy to understand. You have questions, comments, just let say. Let me know so I can fix anything I can to help you be prepared for sixth grade. Well, hope it helps.